Uh, first of all, I want to say thank everyone for being here. I want to thank the state, the governor, uh, housing director, and Senator Margaret Rose Henry, any other elected officials that I don't see. You know, I'm getting older. I can't see much anymore. Um, and I want to thank uh, the staff uh, of the city of Wilmington, Jeff, economic development, Lenny Sovereign, planning. And, and I'm, I'm proud to see all these projects going on in, in the city of Wilmington. You know, every time I, I go to a large group or gathering at times, first thing people start talking about is negative things in the city of Wilmington. Wilmington's on the move. Wilmington doesn't have a lot of problems. We have our issues just like any other city. Uh, thank God we have a, a, a great police force that is engaged in the community, working with the community, with public relations. Thank God we have people in this city who roll their sleeves up, go out every day, and work with the citizens of this city to build neighborhoods. And that's what we're all about. We're not about uh, becoming an occupied army with our police force. And I do believe you won't see the issues in other cities that, that you see, and you won't have that in the city of Wilmington, because we are committed. It's not just about building buildings and bringing businesses in. It's about the community trusting its government. It's about the community trusting its police force. And I vow to you that's what I ran on, and that's what's going to happen in this city. We've had some few misfortunes, but any time I get an opportunity to get in front of a microphone and talk to a group of people, especially people that are investing in our city, I want to talk about that. Don't go for the okie doke, as President Obama always says. We are moving in a positive direction. Our police department has gotten great reviews, and I stand by them 150%. And I know you may think this is a little off cue today, but it's not off cue. I am so proud of the men and women that wear the Wilmington Police uniform. They are making great strides in our city, and we are working very hard to turn this around. And again, thank you. And with that, I think the governor's next. And I, and I, okay, okay. And I want to thank the governor. You know, we bump heads sometimes, but he's still my buddy. I love him. <laughs> But thank you, Mayor. I know you have to go. Uh, but thank you for joining us. Thank you for your efforts with this initiative. And thank you to your staff for their great effort as well. Uh, my name is Anas Benadi. I'm the director of the Delaware State Housing Authority. I want to welcome you to our announcement for the downtown development district uh, for the city of Wilmington. We started down in Seaford a couple of days ago. We worked our way up to Dover. And here we are here in this lovely day. Uh, I want to thank uh, folks who have helped us. The city of Wilmington, they have been great. Lenny and his team in the planning department have been great to work with. Uh, the state planning office as well uh, have helped us throughout this process. And uh, I also want to thank our host. Uh, we will hear from them later on from Chris Buccini for uh, managing in a quick turnaround to make sure that we have a safe place uh, to, to get this thing done. And I always like to come when we have events like this with, with a program that includes public subsidy uh, and, and a leverage to places where there is still work to be done. So you can see what you're getting uh, uh, for, for your money uh, as well. Before I introduce the governor to make the announcements and tell you a little bit about the awards, uh, just a little background on the downtown development district. So this thing started, this initiative started with announcement from the governor during his state of state address last year. Uh, it translated to a bill uh, that was sponsored by uh, a few legislators, including Senator Henry. Thank you for your support. And uh, passed the House and the Senate and uh, was signed by the governor last summer. Uh, what the bill did is really paved the way, uh, paved the way to uh, uh, lo local jurisdictions uh, to apply for the downtown development district. So local jurisdictions were invited to select an area within downtown and apply for the designation. Uh, we received at the state level many applications, and the governor last January selected three districts, uh, City of Seaford, Dover, and, and Wilmington uh, as the third one. Uh, so these districts, what really uh, means for the investors, owners, and tenants within this district is that they have access to a menu of incentives. Some are local incentives, some are state incentives. But right on top of those incentives, right at the top of the list, is the downtown development grant, which really translates to a 20% grant uh, on the capital expenses, uh, capped at $1 million. So uh, DSHA received $7 million uh, for, for the grant program. We, s we set aside $1 million for small projects, uh, and that set aside still out there, and we're still pushing uh, and advocating for uh, more applications. 
and we define small projects as any projects uh, requiring less than $250,000 worth of capital expenses. Uh, the large set aside, which is roughly about $5.6, $5.7 million, we opened that uh, process, application process back in March. And I want to thank our staff for not just researching the program, implementing the program, taking application, but quick review turnaround to allow us to be here uh, to have these announcements. Uh, thank you, DSHH staff, for all your hard work. So we received 16 applications uh, for about 7.5 million uh, worth of grant requests, and we only have 5.7 million. Uh, so the fact that we received 16 applications and we were oversubscribed is actually a great story for a program that started on its first year. It means that there is a need for a program uh, to incentivize our development within the downtown, and it also means that our investors, tenants, and owners are responsive, and they see the need for, for this subsidy, and uh, they see the need for these investments to allow them to leverage it with, uh, with other resources. So without going any further on the applications that we received and the applications that were awarded, I will invite my boss, Governor Jack Markell, to talk a little bit more about that. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, I, and I want to start by thanking Anas and the entire team at the State Housing Authority for the great work that you all have done uh, putting this program together, along with the planning office and the other agencies uh, within the state government. Certainly, I'll talk about the city in a second. Uh, Senator Henry, we wouldn't be here without you. Uh, thank you for your longtime, very strong advocacy. Uh, on behalf of the city of Wilmington, and really on behalf of cities throughout the uh, state, the importance of urban uh, revitalization. So the role that you played in putting these bills together was just critical. Uh, and of course, to the developers, to uh, to the Buccinis, and to um, uh, Brother Ronald, um, obviously this would not be taking place without you. This announcement is exactly what we had in mind when we put this program together. The idea was to take a relatively small amount of public money and to leverage a really significant amount of private money. And so the, the downtown development district pro program so far with the $5.6 million so far is leveraging in excess of $100 million of private money. And that's exactly what we had intended. And, and as Anas said, this is our, the third of three visits uh, this week, and we started in Seaford. You know, Seaford's a, uh, a great community. It's, been, it's had some pretty tough times uh, over the last uh, 10, 15 years or so. There's a project that was kicked off this week, um, a private uh, developer from the Washington, D.C. area who had never invested in Delaware before, never invested in Seaford before, is investing 9 or $10 million in, I think, 72 new uh, apartment units, nice, nice apartments uh, right uh, on the, uh, the river there uh, in Seaford. And so that would not have happened uh, without this. We went to Dover, uh, a couple projects in Dover. One is uh, five uh, Habitat for Humanity uh, homes, uh, and uh, Jocelyn from Habitat for Humanity in, in Kent County said this would not have happened. This is sort of, you know, put, put them over the top. And similarly, the revitalization of a really iconic uh, storefront uh, on Lockerman Street, and uh, which is, you know, there's, a, there's a, a residential component, there's an office component, and then there is a restaurant uh, area on the down, downstairs. They don't have a restaurant to take it yet, but they're hopeful that this will put them over the top as well. And then here in Wilmington, uh, which we, you know, figured from the beginning would get a significant portion, uh, these projects are really exciting, and I'll let uh, Brother Ronald and Chris talk about them themselves, but to see uh, the creativity and um, you know, really addressing a wide variety of uh, uh, housing and retail and uh, other needs. It's, exa it's, it's, it's fabulous, and I think this, there are so many really positive things going on in Wilmington. There's so much investment taking place here, I mean, hundreds of millions of dollars uh, over these next uh, couple of years. And look at this space. I mean, this is gonna be amazing. And uh, I just, I can't wait to see what it looks like uh, all final. I can't wait to see it vibrant and, and, and people uh, shopping here and living upstairs and it's just going to be it's going to be phenomenal. And imagine, you know, between this project, the one across the street, the one up a couple of blocks, and then the, the one that's behind us um, by a block or two, a 231 
unit apartment building uh, parking garage this is huge I mean this is absolutely transformational uh, for the city of Wilmington and this is a you know a reminder government can only take it so far which is not very far at all you know what we can do and I want to thank the folks from the city uh, Jeff and, and Len and, and, and the entire team uh, for your responsiveness and for moving things uh, quickly but at the end of the day, uh, be, you know, be, beyond that and beyond a relatively small amount of money, what it takes are folks who understand the market and who are willing to invest their own money uh, and to sort of figure it out. And that's exactly what we have here. So we are just uh, really thrilled uh, to be here. I'm going to be taking so somebody in like right around just before 1.30 is going to come up and tell me I have to leave. Uh, but in the meantime, am I introducing Chris? Who, who's next? Senator Henry, did you want to say a few words? Well, thank you. So we get to hear from two amazing uh, developers, and uh, um, we are so grateful to both of you. And uh, Chris, why don't we start with you? Right. I'm just honored to be uh, standing next to what I always say the most important developer, and that's Brother Ronald. So uh, he's got he leaves a very high benchmark for the rest of us to follow. He, he's doing the incredibly important stuff. But um, thank you, Anas, on behalf of the Bocchini Poland Group. Your entire, entire team uh, uh, has just been amazing. And, and thank you for selecting four of uh, BPG's projects uh, to be worthy of the Downtown Development District support. Um, we're, we're, we're very humbled as a company to be the beneficiary of, these, of this support. And, uh, but I think mo most importantly, we're very proud that, th that th these contributions will leverage up to $120 million of projects here. So um, we're going to take an important but a, a small amount and um, leverage it up to $120 million. It's, just a, it's, a, it's a staggering amount of money. Um, collectively, the projects that the Downtown Development District will help kick off are 382 new residential units. So that's, that's 450, 500 people living within these, these flocks. It's, as the governor said, it's transformative and, and he really understands that impact. Um, it, will, it will help usher in 500 new parking spaces in our city. And what I love about these spaces, while well, most people know that there's a shortage of parking in our city, um, these will also be strategically placed to really help um, our downtown thrive at night and on weekends because um, that's something that's really important for people. When they come down here, they want to know there's that garage that they can just go to and they can park. Um, in addition, um, it'll also help fund 25,000 square feet of retail space. And, and retail is something that's incredibly important for our downtown uh, to continue in this transformation. And, and the cost will also help fit out the spaces. So the governor said, as you look around this space, um, you know, to me it looks like you know, a, a diamond that just needs to be roughed up. You know, people may think it's falling down, but um, this was really the foundation um, of a city that was growing many years ago, and um, it's, it's appropriate that it's now the foundation for a city that's growing once again in a very big way. Um, we're incredibly grateful to uh, Governor Markell um, and his entire team for, for coming up with the concept of the Downtown Development District, um, as well as the overwhelming support from the General Assembly. Uh, we're touched and we're appreciated. We know there was a lot of hard, hard work uh, that went into it, so thank you very much. Special thanks, uh, and, and thanks also to Mayor Williams and, um, and the City Council for their uh, unwavering support in this project and helping to make it happen. Uh, special thanks to Director of Planning and Develop Development, Len uh, Lenny Soffrin, for your leadership uh, of an iterative and inclusive process in establishing the boundaries of Wilmington's Downtown Development District. Uh, hugely, hugely important, so thank you very much. Um, and um, last but not least, um, Rob Snowberger, um, who's led this entire development team at BPG on the projects that we're doing, these $120 million of projects. Uh, uh, as some of you may know, Rob, uh, he represented our country as a, as a Navy SEAL in Iraq. And, uh, <laughs> And, and we often say as a company, um, we're not slowing down, we're pushing harder forward here in our city. And so it's, uh, I think, appropriate that we have Rob uh, now leading the charge for us here in Wilmington. 
Uh, thanks again to everyone for their extraordinary support, uh, and we, we look forward to future collaboration as we continue to grow uh, in the city we love. Good afternoon. We can transform our city one project at a time, and Sacred Heart Village 2 is a perfect example providing 26 units for very low seniors, 62 and older, on the east side of the city. This Section 202 HUD project from the federal government, to me, is the best anti-poverty program that has been truly successful in guaranteeing our poor senior citizens the assurance and peace of knowing that they would have a permanent place to live for the rest of their lives with dignity and caring environment. The residents would only pay one third of their gross income, so if they have a meager income of $300 from a social security check, their average rent would be 100 or less a month because it's supplemented by the federal government. HUD was the major funding source for this construction, but many foundations, the city and the county and the state contribute greatly to this senior housing project, will which will provide a safe, handicap accessible unit for each resident. Sacred Heart Village 2 could be perhaps one of the last Section 202 projects to be built for very low income seniors since sadly Congress has defunded the program. We're most grateful, however, to Delaware State Housing Authority has now awarded us the 557,000, in addition what they have already contributed, a $1.3 million construction grant. To my surprise of many, we hit rock in digging up the foundation. It's taken five months just to dig out all the granite and remove it from the construction site. That alone increased the project over $400,000. This Delaware State Housing Authority grant will allow us now to cover this expense and to meet any other obstacles in our way of getting this building complete. We thank the Delaware State Housing Authority for its continued commitment to build quality housing for our poor seniors. We trust that we'll also turn a favorable eye towards the village of St. John, which will add, you get it? 53 more units for 62 and older who live in a modest income and who are desperately in need of quality housing, which in would include setting aside 14 units for senior military veterans who served their country bravely. And like Sacred Heart Village too, the village of St. John is a project that can help transform our city. Did you get that, Lenny? I thank you in the name of the seniors that I serve, and I bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brother Ronald. No rock or granite will ever stop you. Uh, I, we have two applicants here with us, but I don't want to take away from other applicants uh, who have uh, applied and get awarded for the City of Wilmington set aside. They are on your packages. I see uh, Kathy and, and Alan from Connections, uh, Jim Petrosali and Tim Crovey, Steve from the Wilmington Housing Partnership. I don't know if we have somebody from Historical Society here. Yep. So uh, did I miss anybody else? Yes, thank you. Uh, I see you and Rick Eisner as well there. Uh, so uh, for, for some of you, for the press, if you, want, if you don't want to talk to Brother Ronald and Chris Buccini, we have other applicants who uh, can uh, speak to uh, the program and talk about their projects as well. Last but not least, uh, we have uh, the downtown district sign here. I don't know if the students will be here in one minute. All right. Well, we are uh, we are on a 
Just go. All right. Do we have somebody from uh, the art school with us from the college? There we go. You will uh, you will uh, be with us here on behalf of Nicholas. How about that? Uh, so I want uh, Brother Ronald, Mayor Chris, Senator Henry, if you can join us here. Uh, this is a, a sign uh, that was a, a logo that was developed by a student, uh, Nick. He was not able to be here with us. Uh, you will see these uh, these signs with the help of Del Dots. Uh, uh, Nicole is here with us, Majestic, and uh, you will see he's coming down the sidewalk. So you will see those signs. I'm going to drag it as much as possible. <laughs> you will see some of these beautiful signs throughout the district uh, once we get them up and running. Here he is with us. So this young man is the creator of, this, of the logo that will, was selected and will be used to uh, represent the downtown districts. Why don't you pull that back? Thank you.